So hey there everybody, as always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich, I'm the channel host, and today I wanted to talk about one of the deliverables that a lot of our clients really like. This is a very simple deliverable um, if you're doing mapping and modeling on a job site, and that deliverable is before and after images. So what we've got on screen right now, number one, I am using Photoshop for this. Um, each of the uh, geotiffs that were created were created using MetaShape and our flight data from the location. So we do our regular uh, flight mapping, come back, assemble the ortho mosaic in the model, and then we can actually overlay ortho mosaics from different time periods. What you're looking at here right now is actually from 2023. So it is the September ortho from 2023. And this was earlier on in our project, of course. We actually started at the end of 2022. But I wanted to go back, but not all the way back, to show you this so that we've got some construction going on here. We've got some construction sites in here. We've got some houses that are built. We've got some uh, areas where new foundations are going to be poured. We've got three roads in total. So looking back in time all right this is looking pretty cool i'm going to zoom this in for you just really quick making sure it's at 100 percent so we can actually pan around in here see what's going on we've got that dirt track in here we don't have any pavement yet and so yep september 2023 i'm going to go over to the right hand side you can't see this little tab because i am above it my apologies but um I'm going to turn off the 2023 layer and make the 2024 layer visible. And wow, what a dramatic change. Let's go back here really quick. So we've got these homes. We've got the non-paved area. We're going to look at 2024. And now we've got pavement to the south. We've got a lot of houses coming together. We've got the model homes available for people to view. And yes, there are even a couple of folks who have moved into here. And that is June 9th of 2024. And let's go ahead and flip to our most recent one. June 29th, 2025. Look at all these houses we've filled in massively. I'm going to go back to 2024 so we can see some major changes in here. Let's go over to near the course and see what's going on there. And I'm going to go back to 2024. And those three houses are completely gone. So between 2024 and 2025 is when those houses got filled in. And I flew them, uh, yeah, way back when, but the most recent flight was just a week and a half ago. And so we can actually look around. We've got the greens here. So we did have to work around the uh, golfers, of course, and always making sure not to intrude on their fun while they're out there on the courses and we're running the drone. But so as you can see, 2025 we filled a lot of this in 2024 nothing was going on down here and 2023 we were still in the dirt phase for most of this area so yes our clients really do like the before and after images in the case of this one we export the three different ones the september 23 uh then june 24 and then uh, june 20 or 25 and um so those are of real interest to our clients because they can actually see the progress over time of the entire build site. They can zoom further into this. I actually shrunk this down a little bit just for this presentation, but the size of these uh, orthos are incredible if you if you go with the full size geotiff. I'm using MetaShape to uh, to put these images together. You could also use WebODM easily or Pix4D or Drone Deploy, um, and then you can assemble them in a Photoshop or Affinity Photo, or maybe another imaging platform of your choice as well. So this is a big part of what we talk about when we're talking about how much presentation, how important presentation is, and meeting the needs of your clients. And so we know for a fact from the client base that we have that this is one of their favorites. So we don't send them the Photoshop document or the TIFF that you're seeing here. Instead, we put it into that See My Build um, that we use for our clients to see what's going on in their properties. So let's go ahead and click right into here. 
So we do that custom website that we've talked about before here on channel. Um, and then we load up the things that our clients are looking for, like several videos that have been captured uh, every other week, as well as the orthos, so that they can see the changes very, very easily as they follow the video presentations through the same flight paths as the previous ones. And then scrolling down here, you can see, hey, here is another before and after. So instead of sending them that uh, Photoshop document or uh, TIFF file, you can actually load this into a custom web page for your clients as well. So I wouldn't recommend just sending them a Photoshop document or just sending them a straight up TIFF. Um, make it easier on them to actually, you know, share this with other folks, uh, because a lot of these, uh, a lot of these builders also do have outside investors who are considering other projects with the builders. So we put these types of presentations together. So it's easy to share the fact that the builders are on time or ahead of schedule, you know, um, or, you know, if they're behind, we can actually help out the builders figure out where the slowdowns are or where there are any issues on the sites. So this is just one of uh, many deliverables that you can give to your clients. I just wanted to quickly show you this one today and get back into the swing of things now that uh, the 4th of July whole crazy 4th of July week here is over. So, all right, everybody, I hope you enjoy this one. If you have any questions about doing these types of layered orthos in Photoshop or in other tools, feel free to drop a comment below. And I'll look forward to seeing you again in the near future. Have a great one, everybody.